Hall of Fame baseball player Tony Gwynn's death was shocking for many people. Gwynn shined through his 20-year career with the San Diego Padres. He was diagnosed with very rare cancer back in 2010. KTK's Teresa Sardina spoke with one oncologist about this type of cancer. She now joins us live and Tata with more on his story. Hello, Neil. I'm sure the first thing that comes to mind is chewing tobacco led to his cancer, and some reports say he had mouth cancer. But the type of cancer he had was not in the mouth. Hall of Fame baseball player Tony Gwynn dead at 54. It's a terrible loss to see such a, a fine player uh, lost. It's reported Gwen's death was linked to chewing tobacco throughout his career, but doctors say Gwen did not have mouth cancer. He had a salivary gland tumor, basically that started in his parotid gland, which is the large uh, largest salivary gland and it's on the side of your face. So it's, the cheek area right where here. they have uh, lumps. He says most salivary gland tumors are benign. Apparently he's, he's had episodes of recurrent uh, tumors that then appear to transform into a much more aggressive histology. We asked Dr. Richards if chewing tobacco has any association with salivary gland cancer. Salivary gland cancers aren't as strongly linked to tobacco use as some other types of cancers. From batting in the major league to battling cancer sparks concern on any playing field on whether chewing tobacco is linked to the cancer Gwen had. The head baseball coach at UT Tyler says chewing is rooted in the game and a big part of culture. I think the biggest thing is that you have to educate people on what the risks are and what the dangers are. And he makes that part of his game. At the end of the day it's a personal decision but we feel like that's our main role in it is to make sure that they understand that if you if you you make that decision to continue to do it, uh, these are the risks that you're running. And coming up at 6, we'll have more on oral cancer. Reporting live in Tyler, Teresa Sardina, KETK News.